We're following the money tonight in who is backing who in Green Bay's race for mayor. This race, I think, will be pretty similar to the one that we engaged in back in 2019. Incumbent Eric Genrick says he's proud to receive a large campaign contribution from state Democrats, while one of his challengers says residents should be concerned. We see the dysfunction at the federal level, and we don't need that dysfunction at City Hall. In less than a month, voters in Green Bay will be choosing two candidates to advance to April's general election. If campaign money raised is any indication, two candidates already have a significant edge. Incumbent Eric Genrick raised more than $62,000 in the latest reporting period. Brown County Director of Administration Chad Weinberg uh, raised nearly $109,000. Jane Juza and Paul Boucher are, uh, will also be on the ballot, but neither of them reported any campaign fundraising. Tonight, we are combing through the donor list in what many believe is shaping up to be a partisan battle for a nonpartisan position. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us balanced news coverage. By state law, Green Bay's mayor isn't supposed to operate as a Democrat or a Republican. But the first campaign finance reports filed for the race seem to show Democrats are pushing for incumbent Eric Genrick and Republicans want challenger Chad Weininger. Can we just call it what it is and say this is a partisan race? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's similar to the, I, th I think, the state Supreme Court race where there are partisan interests I involved um, and, and acting in, in the way that they see fit. Of the more than $62,000 Genrick raised over the last few months, most of it came from one donor, the Democratic Party of Wisconsin, with $50,000. You know, I'm really proud of the fact that the Wisconsin Democratic Party is supporting my candidacy. I received that support last time around, and, um, you know, I, I truly believe that the Wisconsin Democratic Party is one of the most pro-democracy forces in the country at this point. Well, I think it should be troubling for a lot of folks in Green Bay. You know, why are political bosses in Madison trying to control an election up here in Green Bay? Weininger, who served as a Republican in the state assembly eight years ago, doesn't have a donation over $2,100, with 85% of his nearly $109,000 coming from individuals within Brown County. His donor list includes recognizable Republican names from the county party and from out of the area, like $1,000 donations from former U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde and former state representative John Nygren. They're business leaders. They're folks that are concerned about the direction of the city of Green Bay. I was able to raise $108,000 uh, because a lot of folks are worried about it. He was able to raise 12000 in the city of Green Bay, and I think that speaks volumes. Four years ago, Genrick, a former Democrat in the state assembly, defeated County Supervisor Pat Buckley in another race that was mostly viewed as partisan. Despite receiving financial support from the left, Genrick vowed to operate in a nonpartisan manner. From your first term, is there one thing that would, you would say is the clearest indication or proof that you approach this position in a nonpartisan way? Uh, you know, I think the way that I, I approach, um, you know, all kinds of development questions demonstrates that I, I'm operating in a, in a nonpartisan way. It, you know, the other thing is that the job of, of mayor is, is just so practical. It, it's not philosophical. It's not like serving in the, in the state legislature or in our, our, our federal Congress. You know, the way that you fix a road or the way that you pick up garbage, you know, doesn't have any kind of a partisan lean to it. What did he do during his first term that is proof that he was had a partisan edge to how he did the position? Well, one of the things is he did use his position uh, to take a shot at a sitting president. And uh, he's also accepted this dollars that show that he's, you know, unfortunately not not uh, nonpartisan. Even if the candidates were to vow not to accept any money from political groups, it's still bound to find its way into this race. State law allows political action committees to pour money into campaign ads without any coordination or approval from candidates. We saw it to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars last spring in the city council races. We're bound to see it again in the weeks leading up to the April 4th election. <laughs>